Welcome back to the thrilling conclusion of this prime factorization quantitative comparison question. We had just found that column A equals 3, so let's check your work in column B. We need to find the prime factorization of 96. We can start with any numbers we want, really. Uh, I noticed that this is even, so I would start with 2 times 48. 48 is pretty familiar in times tables. That's 6 times 8. So 6 is 2 times 3, and 8 is 2 times 4, and that 4 is 2 times 2. Again, all of our branches now end in a prime number, and look, even though the number is different, the prime factors are all still either 2 or 3. So the greatest prime factor, the biggest one, is 3. We can prove then that the correct answer is C, the two quantities are equal. One major takeaway here is not to make assumptions based on what your gut thinks might be bigger. This test would love for you to see 144 is bigger than 96. And just automatically choose column A. Instead, we did a little bit of work, gathered a little bit of evidence, and found the correct answer, C. Stay tuned for more practice problems and explanations.